questions? Matt, what was your reaction to just being named a captain on Saturday night? Um, honestly, I was honored. I mean, this this university has a great tradition of great leaders and great men, and um, my goal is to help embody that and um, just keep um, the image that the uh, uh, my teammates and my brothers believe in me. And I want to make sure I uh, uphold that standard and prove that they made the right choice. How would you describe how this guy here is talking to you? You know, runs the ball, plays blocking for. I love it. I mean, if we give him a hole, he's going to hit it. I mean, he's like our backfield is, I mean, you can't complain about it. We got what we want, and those guys, they go. So, I mean, if we're not on our game, if we're not doing right, they'll get on us. And the same way, if they're not really running that great, we're like, hey, step it up. I mean, it's a give-take relationship, and we love each other for it. We're brothers. We all we want is success for everyone around us. So, I mean, it's just really an awesome feeling. Growing up in a, in a football fan, which you, you know, all four brothers play in the sport, how did that help shape you as a leader? Um, honestly, I just it, it gave me examples of how to be a good person, how to how to motivate people, and how to really just kind of what it takes to do the right thing. Because in all reality, it's doing the right thing kind of sucks. Sometimes, sometimes you want to make the bad choice, but at the end, you got to think. Is this the best decision for the brother to my left and brother to my right? And at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. Are, are you going to be a selfish person for a quick pleasure? Or are you going to suffer now for the long run gains? How much bigger and stronger is this this offensive line? <laughs> I'd say I say Duval's done. Duval and his staff has done a fantastic job. I mean, everyone's everyone's moving better. Everyone's quicker. Everyone's numbers have gone up. I mean, it's. It's incredible with what he's done, and it's honestly, I love it because <laughs> he doesn't give you a choice but get bigger, get stronger, get faster. Matt, can you, can you just describe what fall camp was like from, from the O line perspective of replacing what you guys had to replace and working for a different team that's now having a depth chart? And how, how nice is it to have that, that definition of clarity? Um, honestly, it was just like playing football. I mean, we didn't really have a you didn't really have time to think of, oh, who's going to be here, who's going to do that. It was, I mean, we just had to go. We didn't have a choice to really ever stop. I mean, at the end of the day, all it was, we want, we want to be one of the best old lines in the country, and we want to work to give um, our running backs, our quarterback time to make plays because that's what they are. They're playmakers, and they're really good at what they do. So if we can do our job correctly, then we'll have a great production on offense, and we'll get to where we want to be. What does Cam Gregory's now that he's sort of back? What does he give to your offense? What can you say? He's just very strong. He knows what he's doing. And um, he's, he's, he, I, I, he's just really good at what he does. I, he's, um, he's able to get tight hands. He makes um, the calls very well. He's just he's a good player. He knows how to play football really well. Matt, do you guys feel like a young offense? Honestly, no. I mean, we a lot of these guys, um, even if they weren't playing that much, they were already in this offense. They were learning it. And sure, it's a, it might be a, a new-looking mix, but we know what we're doing. And the way we've been practicing, it feels like we've been doing this for a couple of years now. So there may not be too many seniors, but the way that we've been just attacking everything that we're doing, it, it doesn't feel like we're really lacking the that senior kind of feel to it. A lot of these guys just seem like they've been playing and doing this for a while now. What has Cam German brought since he's been back out there? Um, fresh legs. <laughs> he was he was um, he's uh, he's just really strong and I mean he's able to get some good movement up front and uh, it's just he's a good player when it comes down to it. What was it like uh, when when uh, Trent was put on scholarship? Was that announced in front of the team? Or what? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, he's he's worked so hard, and I mean, he's been trying to do everything he's, he can to put be like I was saying, being a great teammate. I mean, he's his choices truly are the he's not he's not going to do anything stupid. He's he's looking out. He wants to make the best decision for the team. And I mean, honestly, we were so we were so happy for him because I mean, he's a he's a man that just really he busts his tail. I mean, he may not always be the most talented person, but he's going to give you everything he got. And I mean, that's all you can really ask for in a player. And 
it works out really well, and he's been doing a great job, and I'm, I'm really excited for him this year. I think he's going to do really good. Now you guys had to sit on the result of last season for nine long months now. What's the, now that it's a week away, the level of eagerness to get back out there and have a little slate wipe clean? Um, we're, we're excited. We're so ready. I mean, we've been, like you said, we've just been waiting. We've been battling with each other, and eventually when you just keep hitting the same guy over and over, it gets a little repetitive and boring. So, I mean, with, with the way the, the year started last year, the way it ended last year, we started to figure out what it takes to be create a winning habit and creating um, like just the, the right type of environment. And you got to thank uh, some of those senior guys because they, they truly were a, kind of a trailblazer, some of them. And, um, we got to be thankful for them. But I mean, at the end of, at the, end of the day, too, we're, we're excited because, I mean, we, we've seen where we've headed and we're just we're, we're ready to go play. I mean, that's what it comes down to. We're all chomping at the bit for Saturday morning. Handful of new players look at their first college action on Saturday. What advice do you have to them as they prepare to go out there? Just go play. I mean, you've heard our motto: um, desire to excel, no fear of failure. Uh, when you hesitate, you lose. I mean, just go. You're here for a reason. You're here because you're a great player. Go prove it. If you make a mistake, that's football. Keep playing. Hey, Matt, from uh, Bryce Benner, just listen as your back at the right tackle. What is what? Have, what's your relationship with him like, and what has he learned, I guess, over the, his first few months here. Um, he's, he's, he's done a great job. I mean, he's just learned that um, when you're in high school, you can kind of you can be bigger than everyone, so you can kind of get away with not the best technique. And now he's, he's really tightened it up, and he's gotten a lot better with how he moves his body, his footwork, um, striking within the frame. Just, I mean, he's gotten extremely – he's started to excel in the, the tiny details of what it – takes to become a good old lineman and a great old lineman. And I mean, I, I I love it. I'm so excited for him. He's he's a great guy too. He's always eager to learn. He's he's really just another like kind of prototype mindset for a lineman. He just, he wants to be the best he can be and he wants to help any way he can. Anything else for Matt?